So this Ford. Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Wee Wee Builds. Today we're gonna do something different. So what we're gonna do is talk about how to buy cars from the auction. But anyways, like, share, subscribe, drop your comments and thoughts down below. Turn your post notifications on. Hey, check us out on all social media links and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also share if you like these videos. If you don't, you can always hit the thumbs down. But anyways, we're gonna get straight to it. So let's not waste no time. We have um, the title for the 2020 Ford Escape that we have, right? So this car was just one of those cars that I ended up buying sight unseen and because you know the other car that we had we bought it from IAA right so the other car was from IAA and you could see that how it got hit in the front and I could probably I'm gonna show a video up up right up here so you can see it or if it's not right up here it's probably gonna be down here at, um, out of the screen but anyway that's like the first video of when we bought the, the first Ford Escape and then now the, the second car the parts car so what I did was you know just scrolling through Copart and stuff I didn't have a for that car I, I could not buy it from buy it in Detroit because I needed a license so what I ended up doing is going through um, Copart still but they have another um, section where you could buy it from Auto Bid Master right so auto bid master is like they or like the middle person between me and copart so anyways i end up using them for their dealer's license to end up getting this car so this ford it has 44,000 miles on it right 44,000 miles no no 48,000 miles 48 164,000 miles on it right so um, it says no liens is on it. You can see where they just give me ev everything because so oh, this is everything on the on the title right here for for the car. But I mean, honestly, how much I paid for the car? Let me see. I'm trying to figure it out. All right. So I initially won the car for $2,650, right? So $2,650, that's, that's how much I, I won the car for. To, to get it shipped to me in, in Yuma, Arizona, that was another, I wanna say $1,000, so about $3,650, $3, I wanna say, in total, or maybe a little bit more because I still gotta add the fees. So I'm looking at say, for instance, I would just say $4,000. I spent $4,000 to get um, the, the parts car. And as, and as you know, getting the parts car, this was just one of the process. It wasn't too hard dealing with, working with Auto Bid Master, I wanna say it wasn't as, I would say it wasn't as technical. The only issue that I kinda hated about it, and it's not Auto Bid's master fault, it's just whoever was trying to sell the car, because. I originally won the car for, I wanna say $1,200, and they were kinda of beating around the bush, like they didn't wanna sell it to me for that, and they wanted like, I wanna say $3,000 for it, and I was like, hey, I'm not paying that much. So we ended up settling on $1,600. All in all, through the door, I ended up like winning, winning the car for $2,650. So it still wasn't bad. I would say it was good um, working with Auto Bid Master. They made the process kinda of easy, because even when I, if when they sent me the email and said, hey, this person says, this is what they want for it. Then they end up like contacting me back like later on and was like, hey, this is the offer and they end up calling me. So I was like, hey, I want to do this. And then end up went over to the weekend and then after the weekend and then we went back to the, the next day, then we end up doing something like that again. So, I mean, I'm happy that um, we end up getting this, this 2020 Ford Escape. I've gotten all the parts that I needed off of it. I honestly, I'm gonna show you all some of the parts that I've that I've also taken out so far. Um, I haven't really did. I haven't really made any videos for me dismantling some of the parts of the car. And the reason being is because I'm doing more lives with that. But um, 
but sometimes as, as I said just make sure you hit that hit that um, bell icon so as I drop a video or as I drop a live or start a live you can just immediately get that um response for what's going on but yeah I end up pulling some stuff down so far uh, I'm gonna show you all it in a, in a minute and then the next step for me right now is to just get the engine transmission engine transmission drive shaft and maybe the differential in the back to get the, that's for the all-wheel drive system and then I want to say I'm gonna leave the suspension and the tires because I have one tire that I have over here that um, I'm gonna still keep but I mean apart from that that's almost everything that I've done with the car so I mean I want to say I'm hoping to if I could sell the engine and transmission differential I could probably make that in the money that I'm I uh, basically bought it for and all the parts that I, I have but I have a, a whole bunch of parts so I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and show y'all that right now if y'all want part, any parts for y'all for it as I said I'm not holding any prices because I've already got all the, pr the, the parts that I needed so I'm gonna show y'all what I have though so this was the tire that I was talking about so that one is because you know on the front wheel of the other car you know that was it I took the air box out and then this um that's the evaporator this is the evaporator so I ended up pulling it out I kind of broke the thing because remember when the first slide when I was pulling down the car I end up um leaving the dash hanging so I think that kind of messed up some stuff but yeah this is the dash so the dash is out and then I have the fender right here and a couple other parts in that box we got old headlights fuse boxes um the motor for the window the center console so we have a whole bunch of parts that we end up getting off this car what else um do we have we have an airbag and we have um the, the clock spring the cluster and also the battery I think this battery is probably even dead dead now honestly so might have to get rid of it I don't know yet but yeah but that's pretty much it it was it was good to work with them honestly this is just one of the easiest way that I use to, to, to buy this car sometimes I really don't like buying cars sight unseen but originally on this channel you know that's what i do most of the time i just buy it sight on scene and then once the car gets here we deal with all the issues that it has that's how we'll, we are thinking with the audi s5 and then you know we end up buying another car and fix it so i mean this car also too i don't even know if the the title is a salvage title honestly because it just says no liens void it void if altered so i mean I don't think it is a salvage title, but I think it is from, well, it says this was owned by First Investors Financial Services. Anyways, it, it it's it's good to know that, hey, if y'all want to um, know more, watch more videos of me like buying and purchasing these cars and have a deeper dive into what we do when we're buying these cars. But as y'all know, when I bought this car, I was looking at the pictures I know that everything on the back was messed up the only dent that we were kind of worried about was it was the fender and then what well, we knew that we needed uh, everything the whole fan headlights and radiators and all those parts end up coming to about seven thousand dollars so we getting this for twenty twenty six hundred is it's a steal so I'm happy that we did it uh, the next video, I don't know which video I'm deciding to, to post next yet, but um, if, if y'all want me to make a video of me dismantling the whole car, the rest of the car, then just let me know, just drop it in the comment section down below, or just check out the live, because I'll be doing live constantly, keep on doing more live so y'all can see what's going on. But anyways, like, share, subscribe, drop your comments and thoughts down below. Hey, don't forget, to go check out We Rebuilds on every single social media link. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you follow me on all platforms as well. And just 
put some comments down in the section let me know but as I said this was the first one I'm talking about auto bid master um, I've, I've used them two times the one with the parts Audi s5 and for this Ford escape so um, the next one I could do one with IAA if you want me to and one with Copart but anyways like share subscribe and don't forget to click that notification bell so you can always get the alert once I drop a new video okay do not forget that and then you once I go live you can see everything that I'm doing but anyways until next time stay positive stay motivated